26. I'm going to give you a little bit of the context here while you're turning there. And explain what's going on in Acts chapter 26. The Apostle Paul had been getting in trouble. And right now he's in front of Agrippa. And any of you can look this up on a number of Bible or historical sources and find out who is this person named Agrippa that Paul has to give his defense before. Agrippa is in the family of Herod. Who's Herod? Herod is described in the Bible as being from Edomia, meaning under one West's understanding, he would be what they would call an Edomite. Now, an Edomite is a descendant of an ancient uh, group of people descended from Esau who lived in the Jerusalem area of Israel. And down there, you have the Moabites, you have the Edomites, and you have the Ammonites. You have all three of those people groups. So supposedly, right under Israel, you have a group of white people, Asian people, and Japanese people. But it's unlikely that white people would actually be Edomites because we see that you didn't have those kind of people living in that area. So, let me show you something here that's important. First, you gotta understand about IUIC. Alright, Shalom. This is the Hara One, Banyasha Allah of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Kal Halayim, La Yahawah, Pahashim Yahweh Shai, Pahashim Harakakwadash, and my mouth. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. And Shalom to you, Akim, and Akwatim, and children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Uh, yeah, I was watching this video with, uh, Dr. Edom, man, Vocab Malone, uh, spewing out his lies again, man. Uh, he went to go visit, um, you know, the repro reprobate silver camp, IUIC, because um, they spew out lies as well. So this is not in their defense, but this is in uh, defense of the doctrine of the truth. All right, I'm going to read this real quick. Philippians 1 and 16. The one preacheth Yahweh shy of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. And that's what this is about, the defense of the gospel, of the truth. All right. That um, people like Vocab Malone is a, a antichrist against meaning against the truth, against against the anointed. He's a contender. All right, so he's uh, Satan. So um, basically an adversary. But he's, he made a point right there to where he said, uh, uh, matter of fact, all right, he made a point to where he said, uh, um, below below Judea, where Edom uh, was, there were no so-called Caucasians or white people living there, where there's no such thing as a white person. You know, um, you, uh, uh, the ones they call white or Caucasians, they're really red or pinkish, you know, or pale, or pale pink, but they're not white, you know. You just can't, you can see the blood through their skin. But, um, so he's stuck on this word white, you know, and we're not color prophets. We teach about the speckled bird, meaning Israel is mingled amongst all nations, so we don't know who's who. We're not like Black Panthers. So, you know, but anyway, uh, Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. All right. So he has no light, no light in him, in him. He's just full of darkness, man. Even when he's speaking about history, you know, he goes off completely according to the scriptures. And he try to use big words, or they're not big words. He just try to throw um, ology or study of on the end of every word. I, eschatology, da 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 ology. It sounds like he's saying something, but he's not, you know. But um, matter of fact, this is First Timothy six and three. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words and the scriptures. And true words are wholesome words, man. All right, this is spiritual. Um, even the words of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, Mashiach, and to the doctrine, which is according to godliness, he is proud, so he's proud, right? He, he's an Edomite himself, a German. 
uh, most likely an Edomite, uh, Vocab Malone, specifically. Knowing nothing, so he knows nothing, man. The wisdom of this world is foolishness to Yahweh. But doting about questions and strife of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil surmising, perverse disputings of men, of corrupt minds. See, he got a corrupt mind. Perverse disputings of men. So this, that's what they want to do, dispute all the damn time. Um, of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth. <laughs> Supposing that gain is godliness, from such withdraw thyself, man. All right, before I get into the history, because mind you, I'm going to play the clip. I'm going to play in a slow motion so we can hear exactly what he said. He said, there were no Edomites living in that area, you know, under Judea. So Agrippa couldn't have been an Edomite. Well, Agrippa was a descendant of Herod. Agrippa II was the last Herodian in rulership. You see that of that lineage. All right. So the one he's talking about is, is Agrippa the first, the father of Agrippa the second, which is a direct descendant of Herod the Great. And then Herod the Great is a descendant of Edom, man, of his father, um, Antipater the Edomite. You know, so. um, Matter of fact, let me, let me just read. It says John 8 and 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. And that's what he's doing, going around the different camps uh, in the spirit of a scoffer. He's doing the lust of his father, the devil, his authority. He was a murderer from the beginning and a bull not in the truth. All right. Because there is no truth in him. So um, the father of uh, Herod, the father of Agrippa. All right, the father of uh, what's his name? Uh, vocab is Edom, and uh, and going back before that, uh, spiritually, uh, Cain, you know, the murderer, and Esau, the murderer. All right, he speaketh when he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. All right, so. All right, so I'm going to play back what he said, and uh, and I'm going to go to the history, you know. Edomite is a descendant of an ancient uh, group of people descended from Esau who lived in the area of Israel. And down there, you have the Moabites, you have the Edomites, and you have the Ammonites. You have all three of those people groups. So supposedly... Right under Israel, you have a group of white people, Asian people, and Japanese people. But it's unlikely that white people would actually be Edomites because we see that you didn't have those kind of people living in that area. White people, Asian people, and Japanese people. But it's unlikely that white people would actually be Edomites because we see. Because we see that you didn't have those kind of people living in that area. All right, so <clears throat> with that being said, now I'm going to show that he's a liar. Because in the history, even in history, is known that Esau, that Caucasian Edomites, so-called white people, were staying down there. And he's clearly an Edomite, you know. Um, now... I think his mother was an Arabian, you know, or uh, something like that, and he married into um, into Israel, you know. I think his his wife was named uh, Miriam. There you go, Miriam. That was his wife. She was an Israelite, the sister of um, Aristopolis, which was the king of Judea, the true king of Judea. Judea, which this this devil here stole his seat. All right, after um, you had John Hyrcanus, um had, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Herod, <clears throat> the great's father, uh, Antipater in subjection. All right, he had Antipater in subjection. And, uh, 
um, I think his father, John Hyrcanus the uh, first, uh, forced the Esau into um, what you, you know you can call it Judaism into being uh, following the culture of the Jews, you know, following the ways of Yahweh. So they always wanted to be Israelites, but they could never be true Jews, and they weren't allowed to be. You know, it was it was forced upon them. But then you had people like Antipater, the Edomite. He wanted to be. Let me get it. All right, <clears throat> this is beautiful, man. Check this out. Uh, it says now, because if you if you understand history, you'll see that Herod was just like the fake Jews today, or just like um, vocab, you know, to where they say they're the, they're the true Jews, or they say they're the Israelites. Like the, the uh, vocab doesn't say that, but the fake Jews do today. They call themselves the true Jews. So if you speak about the history of the Jews, they're going to be listening like you talking about them. The same way Herod. You know, if you spoke about the Jews going into captivity under Nebuchadnezzar in 586 BC, if you spoke about that to Herod, he would think you're talking about his family because, um, let me just get into it. You know, he just had a, he just had a misunderstanding. All right. It says, uh, instead, Josephus explains that Antipater's family converted to Judaism during the forced conversions by the Sadducee uh, influenced Hasmonean uh, leader. So he was kind of, you know, um, you know, influenced by the Greek uh, mindset, but he was still, um, you know, believed in the scriptures. Or in, in in the law, but he didn't believe in certain things like um, uh, a spirit or um, um, you know afterlife and things like that. So that was the Sadducees was on, but then you had the uh, um, what were they called the Pharisees, which were you know strict on the law, and all this was a, a stem from. Um, the time of the Maccabees, you know, that's when the Sanhedrin was really created and established and set in place for uh, uh, when Yahweh was on the scene. So that was you had the Sadducees and Pharisees. So John Hyrcanus was an Israelite, a Sadducee, um, you know, a Hasmonean, right? Leader, leader, uh, John Hyrcanus. Hyrcanus threatened that any Idumian who wished to maintain their land would need to be circumcised. All right, so that's why, and enter into the traditions of the Jews. So Esau had to get circumcised, you know. <laughs> Josephus acknowledges Herod as being by birth a Jew and Antipater as being of the same people with the Jews. That's not true. Nevertheless, this influ influential family came to be resented by many Jews for their Edomite ancestry, see? And that's where it cuts people like Josephus and it cuts um, Vocab Malone. Because if you look in history, John Hyrcanus and his family and the Hasmoneans, they resented Herod for being an Edomite. And Herod even visited the land of Idumea. And he knew that um, his people lived there. He was born there. So for him, to, for Vocab to say that there were no Edomites or Caucasians living in that area, that's a lie. All right. Now it says, um, Josephus acknowledges Herod as being, oh, wait, my bad. Right here, number 10. Nevertheless, this influential family came to be resented by many Jews for their Edomite ancestry, a fact used by the Hasmoneans and their supporters against them. As such, in a po polemic uh, against Herod to discredit him, um, in the eyes of the Romans as unfit to become king of the Jews. Antigonus, the Hasmonean, is quoted by Josephus 
as referring to Herod as no more than a private man and an Idumean, half a Jew. Antipater married Cyprus, a Nabataean, noble woman, um, which helped endear the Nabataeans to him. Their marriage helped bring about a close friendship between him and King Aretas, Aretas, called by Josephus Aretas the Arabian, to whom Cyprus was related. All right, so Antipater married into the Arabians, and that's where Herod got a little dark complexion from. But he was still unfit to be a, a Jew, a king of the Jews, because he wasn't an Israelite. And the scriptures say that we're not supposed to vote anybody over us that's not an Israelite. All right? So this guy was unfit. So, um, now, now right here it says, uh, it is... It is a general, generally accepted. It is generally accepted that Herod was born around seventy-three BC in Idumea. So he said it was no, it was no um, uh, Edomites or so-called white people living in that land. And Herod was a Caucasian. He was an Edomite through his father Antipater. All right. Um, south of Judea. Now, what did vocab say? He said there was no. Uh, white people living, so-called white people living south of Judea. But the scriptures say Herod was born there. So there was definitely people still living there during the time of Agrippa. You know, Agrippa, um, Agrippa II was the last ruling uh, Herodian of the dynasty uh, all the way up to about 100 AD. You know, he started ruling around 44 AD, 45 AD. At the Herod uh, Agrippa the first, I and mean, that's the one Paul was dealing with Agrippa the first. All right, that's the one he was speaking to in Acts uh, twenty six. So it says here, um, where was that? However, some authors think that he was born in about seventy two B C E. He was the second son of. Antipater, the Idumean, and that's another word for saying Edomite or Edom, you know, a high ranking official under Ethnarch Hyrcanus II. So he was a high ranking official um, under, the, under the Hasmonean dynasty, but he was an Edomite, you know, and that's how they stole their way into power. Um, uh, under Herod the Great. In Cyprus, a Nabataean, Herod's father was a descendant. You know, uh, so like I read that together. In Cyprus, a Nabataean, so that was his wife. Now, Herod's father was by descent an Edomite, whose ancestors had converted to Judaism. Herod was raised as a Jew. Man, so it was what? He was born in Idumea, and that's south of Judea. This is Jeremiah 16 and 19. O Yahweh, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies. Vanity and things wherein there is no profit, you know, and that's uh, twofold because Israel going to say that um, we our, our forefathers have inherited lies, and that goes with Isaiah chapter um, uh, what's that fourteen where it said uh, the Gentiles going to cleave unto Israel, it's talking about the Israelites, you know, that was waking up to the truth, but also. On another hand, in the kingdom, these uh, heathens are going to say that that they inherited lies, and that's that's the truth, man. That they've inherited lies. Herod inherited lies. He was born as a Jew. <laughs> he was raised as a Jew, man. You know, under his father Antipater, and um, what's his name? Uh, Vocab. 
uh, uh, has a misunderstanding of the scriptures. Of Israel. And down there, you have the Moabites, you have the Edomites, and you have the Ammonites. You have all three of those people groups. So supposedly, right under Israel, you have a group of white people, Asian people, and Japanese people. But it's unlikely that white people would actually be Edomites because we see that you didn't have those kind of people living in that area. 